Hi, welcome to our next section, Installation and Configuration. In this section we'll cover the SQL Server installation on OpenSUSE and also on Kubuntu. We'll also see how to set up initial security settings. The first video, Bash, really quick start, is for Windows users with very little or no command line experience. If you're a Linux user, you can safely skip to the installation videos following that. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with Bash commands. In this video, we'll learn some of the basic bash commands used in Linux. Here, I'll cover the basic commands which you may need in your daily work with SQL Server on Linux, such as creating folders, copying files, navigating through a tree of folders, deleting files and folders, listing content of folders and current position in the folder tree. The commands listed on your screen allows achieving these basic tasks. You can run the command line bash tool in many ways. Here you can find two of the most common ways. If you have a KDE environment, click on KMenu, then System and Console. Alternatively, press Alt plus Space and start typing Console. You'll see at the top of the screen a menu with list of tools, programs, files and everything else that has the word Console in the name. Just choose Console Terminal and press Enter. After you run the Console Terminal bash application, depending on the version of Linux, Username and hostname, you should see something like this. The current location is your home directory, which is your username. How do you check what your current position on the directory tree is? The Linux command for this kind of job is pwd. If you type pwd and press enter, bash will show your current position on the file system, as you can see here. My current position is home forward slash test. The first forward slash is the root directory. It means that home is a subdirectory of root. I believe many of you are familiar with the old DOS command that is DIR. The Linux equivalent is ls. Let's type ls. When you type ls without any arguments and parameters, it gives you a list of files and folders as we got here. The output is not descriptive. But if you type ls l, the output is much better. In this case, you have many files and folders. You'll need to scroll a lot, so the first option is better. So, you can see the second output is way too long compared to the first one. Let's summarize the scenario from the previous steps. So, we check our current position with the pwd command. And then change the path from the home directory to the bin directory with the cd command. Again, check the current position. We're now within the bin directory. Now we list the content of the bin folder with the ls-l command. Here we got total zero because the bin folder is currently empty. Go back to the home directory with a single cd command and check our new position with pwd. The next scenario will combine all commands from previous cases with the addition of creating new folders, copying and removing files. Before that you may check your current position with the pwd command. Now. With the cp command, we'll copy the readme file from the documents folder to the sql folder. Both folders are on the same level, as subfolders of home directory in my case. Let's first check the content of the home directory with the ls command. And we navigate to the documents folder with the cd command. Following this, we use the sudo cp command to copy the readme file to the sql folder. Give the password and again change the directory. We move to the home directory, then test, then SQL. Now let's run the ls command to see the contents of SQL. As you can see we have the readme file here. And now we delete the readme file from the SQL folder with the rm command. If you check the content now with ls you can see that the file is deleted. We then list the content of the SQL folder with the ls-l command. As you see, the total number of files is zero, because we just deleted readme. Type cd. This takes you back to home slash dba directory, with only one level in the tree, from SQL to dba. You can't delete folders with the rm command. For example, type rm sql forward slash. But you can delete folders with the rm dir command. Type ls to view the contents of this directory. Now, 
lists the content of home slash DBA folder with the ls minus l command. As you see, the SQL folder is gone from the list of files. This quick bash introduction will be enough to start interacting with Linux through the command line interface. You'll need some of these commands later in this course to finish some tasks, such as creating backup folders, copying database backups, modifying SQL scripts, and so on. In this video, we've worked with some basic and essential bash commands.